It's January 2021. A year ago, the city of Wuhan in China was locked down because of this novel coronavirus that caused COVID-19. It was spreading throughout Asia and it was coming around the world. I'm Dr. Marcia Nelson, the Chief Medical Officer at Enlo Medical Center, and I wanna let you know about some reasons to be hopeful about where we are with COVID-19 in our area, some treatments we have, and an update on vaccines. So back in December, we were experiencing a huge increase in cases of COVID-19 in our area. This was because of the Thanksgiving holiday. We had 233% more cases in December than in November because of the holiday. And we had similar increases in the counties around us. We were expecting that January would be really rough with all of the winter holidays ahead of us, but it wasn't. Something changed. We had about 20% fewer hospitalizations than we expected, which allowed us to continue functioning almost like normal here at the hospital. So patients weren't coming into the hospital because they had COVID. What had changed? Well, what had changed was we had started in mid-December using a monoclonal antibody to treat mild to moderate COVID-19 illness. Now that's kind of a big mouthful, monoclonal antibody, but what it means is this. So this isn't a mandarin from my tree that I picked this morning. This is the COVID-19 virus. It's called a coronavirus because it's covered with spikes, all these little spikes that make it look like it has a crown. These spikes, the spike protein, is what attaches the coronavirus to our cells. And, it's, and the monoclonal antibody that you get through the vein is just like the antibodies that we make in our bodies. It attacks these proteins so it can't attach to our cells. And so when we give that monoclonal antibody through an IV, through a vein, it lets the person get better faster and has decreased hospitalizations by about 50% for patients who get this IV therapy. Now, there are some restrictions, some qualifications that a person has to have to get it. It depends on age, how sick a person is, other illnesses the person may have. But what I want you to know is number one, that the treatment's available. And number two, talk to your provider. Talk to the person who administered that test for you and find out if you're appropriate for this treatment. And then if the provider isn't aware of how to refer people here to Enlo to get treatment, send them to our website, enlo.org. It makes it easy to get that referral made. Something else that gives me hope about where we are with COVID is getting vaccines into people's arms. Enlo has partnered with Butte County Public Health and we've been able to set up a community vaccine clinic and we're working our way through those tiers and phases so people can be protected against this terrible virus. So there's reason to be hopeful, but until we have COVID behind us, wear your mask, take care of yourself and take care of each other.